Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video I want to show you the components of the integrated development environment. Okay, uh, first we have the editor, and so there are a bunch of files, and this uh, .c file is a source code for the C system. And so using the editor, we're going to type things like the name and the date, and down here we'll write some programs. Um, and so, but in this video, I just want to walk you around the process so you can see uh, what's going on. Okay, so uh, that is the editor. And next we have uh, the Project Explorer. So it's around the Project Explorer that it's going to connect all the components of our software system into one solution. Okay, now in this particular uh, uh, project, it's not very complicated. There's only two files. The first is this main file over here. And the second one is this other uh, .c file. Uh, hidden in the TI Clang folder, uh, which has our reset vectors and our interrupt service routine. Okay, so uh, the next thing we have in the IDE is a, a compiler. And so in this particular uh, compiler, we execute the build, okay, to uh, compile, assemble, uh, link, and create object code uh, from the source code, okay? Uh, and we hit the build button. We hope we don't have any errors. And again, what happened here is it created object code. If you actually want to see it, uh, you can open up the debug thing, a uh, debug uh, folder, and you will see this main.o, which is the object code. Now, we can't open it up because it's binary. Uh, but there is another file in here that's kind of interesting, created by the compiler called the map file. And as our programs get more complicated, this gets more interesting. But it tells us where everything is, where our variables are, where our programs are, etc. Okay, so I'm going to close that and close this. Okay, so we had the editor, which we type in, the compiler assembler linker, which happened when we build, and this one more, I got a board plugged in. And so after we have compiled it, we can burn, erase the prom, and download the object code onto the board, uh, and then use the debugger. It'll launch the debugger, and so in the debugger, we'll be able to do things like single step and a run, and now there's not much to, to, not much to this program, so it doesn't do anything. But I wanted to show you the different parts. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so it's downloading code uh, onto the onto the ROM, and you'll see that one. I mean, the debugger. There's a whole lot of different commands. Uh, like I can look at the registers. Uh, I can do a step uh, over or step in. Let's do a step. A step. Now, again, this program doesn't do anything, so it sits here forever. Okay. Um, and then when I'm done debugging, I can hit this terminate command, and that'll bring me back to the editor mode where I can either write more programs or go home. Okay. In the next video, we're going we're gonna to make functions that actually do something. But in this one, I just wanted to give you an overview of what is in the IDE.